What's up guys, it is Bernardo for the BTN HD, and yes, we are stuck home working from home with our personal computers because we don't have a work computer, right? So here are five tips for basic computer maintenance because most likely your computer needs some love, and here we go. All right, so five tips for basic computer maintenance to show some love to your computer. Number one in my list is organize your files. Centralize all your documents such as Word, Excel, PowerPoint, video, pictures into one location at home. Once you do that, once you have all your files into one centralized location, it is time for you to sit down and start thinking, how in the hell can I organize all these files? Here are some ideas. Create a folder called important, non-important, delete, and store somewhere else. That's, that's the way I like to break it down. I like to create multiple folders and start dragging and dropping stuff. Okay, this file is important. Drop it in this folder. This file is not too important. I don't really need it. I might have to archive it, drop it here. This file, I definitely don't need it. Let's just put it inside a delete pile. And then once everything is ready, I just delete everything in one shot. Tip number two, super easy, implement a backup strategy. So all your files are organized. You have that folder on your desktop called important. Do not delete. I need you for life. So uh, back it up but back it up somewhere, right? You gotta back it up somewhere. I recommend an external hard drive. Get a, get a flash drive or an external hard drive big enough to store all your files into it. You could do local and offsite. What do I mean? Uh, I would say get two external hard drives, do two backups, right? Keep one at home and then keep another one, let's say at your friend's house or your parent's house or your sibling's house, wherever, keep it offsite. So if something happens to the local one, you still have a clean copy somewhere else. Cloud backup solutions, if you don't want to do the whole drag and drop or copy over to an external hard drive, hey, find a solution that you're able to install a client and it will back it up for you manually and save it up in the sky for you. The one that I use and I'm comfortable using is Backblaze. Another feature is enable file history within Windows 10. This will actually take snapshots of your Windows 10 and give you previous versions. So if you delete something, or you can't find something, you can actually go back in time and retrieve it, okay? But number one thing is just implement a backup solution on your machine with all your files. Tip number three is set up a password manager. Now, sit down again and think, write down, right? Write down all your passwords and look at them. Do they all have a theme? If you have password one, two, three, and password one, two, three, four, or password with symbols one, two, three, you need to change them ASAP. It's time to change them, okay? So all, if all your password for your bank, your Google, your Hotmail, your Yahoo, whatever account that you're using your passwords with, if they all share a certain theme or they all look the same, it is time for you to change them. Best thing is you can look into a password manager because it generates a password for you. It creates a unique complex password. It saves it for you so you don't have to drive yourself crazy and also automatically logs you in if you have like the password manager, like a plugin on the browser. Number four on my list is a super easy one and that's dust and clean inside your PC. It can even also be a laptop. Don't get me wrong, you don't have to open up your laptop to clean it up, but, you know, clean around the vents. Super easy. Laptops and desktops accumulate a lot of dust inside of them. If the vents on the laptop and the desktop are dirty because of dust, uh, you know, these machines rely on free flowing air. Cool air needs to go in for the hot air to go out, all right? So that will cause a lot of heating issues on your machine and performance. A couple areas if you are dealing with a desktop would be the fan blades, cables, and all the components within the motherboard, like the memory, uh, the heat sink. Having dust within your computer can actually degrade the computer's performance and also damage the computer components. Cleaning your laptop and PC is super easy. These are the items that you actually need. A can of compressed air. A screwdriver to actually open up the case. I don't recommend opening up your laptop. Just make sure you take the, the air can and just, you know, spray around the vents. Don't open up the laptop if you don't know what you're doing. If you're an individual that does know what you're doing, open up the laptop and then you can spray it. But if you don't, just leave it alone. A microfiber cloth works well, especially if you're the keyboard. Another item to have is zip or twist ties for cable management. Take advantage when your PC desktop is open up you can actually do a little bit of cable management and tie that stuff up to look nice and clean. And the last one in my list is clean your keyboard and mouse. Super easy. Wipe down your keyboard and mouse with disinfecting wipes. Uh, take the keyboard. You can actually take a keyboard, which I got a keyboard right here, and just 
bang it, ah, bang it to get all those crumbs out in between the keys. You could also use a can of compressed air to blow out all the dust and crumbs inside the keyboard. Now these are only five basic tips that you could do on your computer to show some love to it. Now there's a lot more out there and I'm gonna give you a couple more for bonus. And these are some bonus tips. One, update your antivirus software. Two, make sure you push out all Windows updates and security updates. Update your software that you use on your PC. So if you're using Adobe Reader or if you're using Photoshop or Premiere or Illustrator, make sure that those applications are fully up to date. Another one is secure your Wi-Fi password and update your router. And last but not least, upgrade your PC hardware. If you have only like four gigs of memory and it's running a little slow, hey, it's time for you to bump up that memory to maybe eight to 16 gigs. Memory nowadays is super cheap. Hard drive is kind of tricky because with the hard drive replacement, you actually have to reinstall Windows 10 and reinstall all your programs to upgrade your hard drive. And that's it guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit that like button. Also subscribe and I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.